Hello my dear students in this video we are going to study chapter number 11 called pointers let us have introduction when we write a program we are going to declare all the variables that are needed in a program once we declare any variable we are telling the compiler or to the computer that reserve the particular amount of memory space for that particular variable so here variable can be referred as it's a memory location and we can give a unique name to it and this unique name can be identified with the help of its unique number so that unique number is called as address of that particular memory location now let us study the advantages of using pointers the first advantage is it is possible to write efficient programs and the second one is memory is utilized properly and the third one is dynamically allocate and deallocate memory and the fourth one is easy to deal with the hardware components and the fifth one is establishes communication between program and data now we will study memory representation of pointers before we understand what you mean by pointer it is very important to understand that how exactly the memory is organized here memory is organized in a consecutive order or in a consecutive way so that is consecutive bytes so here byte is a basic unit of storage where the data can reside physically so here each byte is identified by a unique number called its address the data can be fetched out of that particular memory location with the help of this unique identification number called address suppose we have 1 kb of memory so that is 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobytes of memory so it is organized in a consecutive sequential order that is ranging from 0 to 1023 consecutive memory locations so here the first location is 0 and the last location represent 1023 we know that all the variables must be declared before using them in a program so this declaration of variable tells the compiler the following things the first one is allocate memory location for that variable and the second one is establish the relationship between that memory location and the name of the variable now let us consider one example here we are going to write int num and in a picture you can see that it is going to allocate two bytes of memory with its address now let us study the definition of pointer pointer is a special variable that holds the address of another variable declaration and initialization of pointer so let us study the general syntax here you can see data type and then we are going to write asterisk symbol and then we are going to write variable name and put semicolon now let us declare with different data types here we are going to write int star iptr then char star cptr and then we will write float star fptr and so on so let us initialize the variable how exactly will be able to initialize here let us take one example int num and then int star iptr iptr is equal to ampersand of num so here num is the variable whose address that is using address of operator that is ampersand operator is initialized to iptr the address of num variable is initialized to iptr that is pointer variable and the next operator is indirection operator that is asterisk symbol so here asterisk symbol represent the value stored in a particular memory location pointed by the pointer now let us take a small programming example to show how exactly the address of that is ampersand and indirection operator that is asterisk symbol works for that i will take you to my laptop screen here in this uh, you can see we'll use both ampersand and indirection operator so that is asterisk symbol and ampersand symbol so we'll see how exactly we can utilize both of these two 
in pointer operations so let us begin with hash include io stream dot h and hash include conio dot h and then we'll write wide main curly open brace here we are going to declare three variables first i'll write int var next i'll declare pointer variable that begins with asterisk symbol star ptr and one more variable called value so next here i will write that is i'm going to assign var is equal to for example 3000 so 3000 is a value which is initialized to var variable which is of int type now here we will go for pointer initialization ptr is equal to ampersand of that is address of this variable is initialized now we are going to write val is equal to star ptr here ptr is equal to ampersand var gives us the address of the variable the 3000 is stored that will be initialized to ptr and val is equal to star ptr gives me again 3000 so whenever we use the indirection operator that is asterisk symbol it returns the value stored in the variable and now here in this case it is initialized to val variable now let us display the result so here please note the address of the variable will be different from the different computer systems okay so even it could be different within the same computer system as per the availability of that particular memory location here we'll go for value of var then we'll write var yandel put semicolon then see out here we'll write value of ptr handle c out value of val handle now we'll write get ch curly closing brace now we'll go for compilation click on compile and click on compile here success there is no error next we'll go for run and then click on run now here you can see value of var is equal to 3000 and value of ptr is equal to 0x 8bf 82ff4 so that is in a hexadecimal notation value of val is equal to again 3000 so this value of ptr could be different from the different computer systems pointer arithmetic as we already know that pointer holds the address of another variable so here address is numeric in value hence we can perform arithmetic operations and we can use some of the arithmetic operators such as plus plus minus minus plus and dot operator operations that can be performed on pointers are we can add an integer value to a pointer we can subtract an integer value from a pointer we can compare two pointers if they point the elements of the same array. We can subtract one pointer from another pointer if both point to the same array. We can assign one pointer to another pointer provided both are of same type. And the operations that cannot be performed on pointers. Addition of two pointers, subtraction of one pointer from another pointer when they do not point to the same array multiplication of two pointers division of two pointers that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this video we will see you in the next video